All right, all right, all right. So this is my Lenovo. I got it as close to as Steam user UI as best as I could. So let's see. This is from Power Off State. There's no login screen. So it just goes straight into the desktop. And Steam, big picture mode, comes up automatically. Now this is using the CSS loader that you could download. I'll leave that link in the description. But as you can see, this is as console as as possible. Now this theme again is from the CSS loader. Now if I was to go into a game, like I stated. Destiny 2 doesn't work for some reason, but every other game in here that I have does work. So let's just say I go into this game. As you can see up here as well, in Steam Big Picture Mode, you can put a FPS counter because I know currently the Lenovo one doesn't work. I'll show you how to do that as well. But you're in the game, you're playing. You can press this button here and it works just as the start button would. I'm not sure if it works in this game, but the menu button does absolutely nothing in this game. But if I was to hold on to this menu button, it'll take me straight back to Steam, big picture mode, instead of the traditional backing out of the game like this. So we're not gonna do it like that. So we're gonna hold on to the menu button And there you go. Takes us back to big picture mode. And that's by holding it. Now I'll give you an example of the menu button being utilized. So my favorite game of all time, Armor Core. Alright, so again, assuming that you need to use the start and menu button or select, you can still use the start button to go ahead and do whatever you have to do. Then you can use the select button or menu button, whichever you want to call it, and it'll still work. But now, assuming you want to go back to the big picture mode, hold on to it, and that's it. So I'll show you how to get that going. And again, if you go up here, everything works with the D-pad. So if you go up here and you scroll over to the to the battery percentage, click on that, it gives you an option to turn on the FPS counter. Now you could put it on the top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left. And then I 
put the FPS high contrast on so that it shows up vibrant green like you've seen. And that's if I want to see that. If I don't, I could just turn it off, obviously. And again, that's just a workaround for the uh, Lenovo FPS counter not working. So, in big picture mode, if you press B, it will take you to the menu where you could back out, power, exit big picture mode. Now, in this controller setup, in this desk, desk, desktop controller setup, I set it up so that, again, the start and select uh, work for ease of use. So, again, the start button for me would be the taskbar. Well, I got some taskbar icons here. But I just put them in the um, start menu. That way I don't ever have to go down here. If I want to uh, go to my folder, I could go from right here. If I want to power it off, I could go down here and power the machine off. Um, if I want to go on Steam or Internet Explorer, AMD. So I have options here. And again, just by pressing the start button. If I want to go back to big picture mode from wherever I am, all I have to do is press the menu button. And I'm back to console-like experience. So let's get out of here. And one thing I'd like to add is that I'm not sure if this big picture mode I'm not sure if it's some voodoo that happened to my Lenovo um, Legion but there is um, resume auto resume from sleep mode I went to work I left it on purpose on a level came back eight hours later nine hours later woke the go back up and I was still in game so this does have auto resume um, for some weird reason and I don't know if it's because of big picture mode now the way you set up the controllers you go up here to steam settings go to controllers and I believe you have to turn this one on enable steam input for Xbox controller or if it's not that one you have to enable this one here enable steam input for generic controllers once you do that you go to edit now from here you have to use the d-pad and for my buttons again I got this one here down here so this one I'm sorry is this one here the hamburger I guess they call it would be the window key and then this one down here which would be select which is up here I put that on open big picture another thing is that my joysticks I like to I believe you I have it set up for this which I think by default is this so joystick as mouse if I click down is shift key but if I click down on this one it opens up the keyboard which is helpful um, that's it when it comes to that portion of it now Let's go back to big picture mode so I can show you something. So again, all I have to do is just press this button down here and it goes straight into big picture. Now, for the controller setup, and you have to do this per game, go to the controller configuration 
and all you're doing is again for this one down here what I did was you just go over to the side and you just add extra command so once you add the extra command your first command would be your normal one that's assigned to that button but then the second one you could go ahead and assign that and what you want to do is you just want to scroll over to the side all the way over here and system force game shutdown so once you have that as the second command you go over to the settings you change this from regular press to long press and then you go to settings and you could increase the time until that input is activated so I just put it over to 900 up here but if you want to hold it for longer you could uh, you could just toggle that over and you do that for every game now what else is in here again this user interface that you're seeing here is via CSS loader for desktop I'll leave the link for that and there is also this will be the last thing there is also a um, link I'm going to leave so that again when you turn off so I like it so that it's just clean like that if I do want to again um, go into big picture mode and play video games and whatnot I'll just go right on here and press this button if I want to <clears throat> toggle the home menu so that I could go on Internet Explorer or wherever it is all I got to do is press this button so now I can go ahead and click on whatever I want but if I power this off again I went to work came back eight hours later I was on auto resume so it does work and I don't know if it's because it's big picture mode or something in here but that feature does work for Windows now again if I power it back up I don't have a lock screen I power it back up and now instead of logging back in or anything like that from power down state from from a restart doesn't matter all I have to do is just scroll up and I'm back in here want to play games press that button I'm in big picture mode go ahead and play my game and this is as close as Steam Deck experience you're gonna get on the Lenovo or Windows for that matter um, also after the Lenovo update um, we have access to this now and exclusively only this so no more pressing that button up here it does nothing now because um, I selected to close close that upon boot up so it won't open up if I power the machine back down or whatever so now you have access to this but even if you didn't have access to this it didn't matter because let's just say you wanted to increase your FPS per game you could just use the shortcuts so and they still work so even though this is this side is technically powered down the legion space portion the quick access is still working but if I was to press this here it's gonna send me back to the desktop and it's gonna ask me um, do I want to run the program which I don't I go ahead and try it see I don't care to run legion space but your shortcuts still work so for instance you want to pop the keyboard hold that B keyboard will pop up if you want to change your TDP you want to change your performance you hold that button sorry hold that button and triangle you can still change it so you don't technically have to go back in there and then the other two have 
um, other shortcuts as well I think it's task manager and um, snippet I think it's called so everything is you technically don't need legion space at all even the quick access one but it is after the update it is good to have in the event that you want to see what's happening but you technically don't need it but that should be all hope this helped and um over here from my side have a good night